So I want you guys to use this verbatim because these words are hypnotic language, but not the mwahaha, Dr. Evil kind. These are actually helpful hypnotic language. They guide the brain. So check this out. First question, what would you like? Positive outcome you can create and maintain. Not, you know, for George Clooney to give me a million dollars. You know, no. So what would you like? Something you can create and maintain. To be peaceful inside, in, you know, regardless of what's happening outside. Something you can do, okay? What will having that do for you? Benefits and how you'll feel. What will having that do for you? What's the difference between would and will? What, is, what, what do you load up when you hear the word, what would you like? What would you like? Possibility. Possibility, thank you. What will having that do for you? What's Action, thank you. Yeah, we made a commitment, right? What would you like? Here's a buffet. Oh, I want the salmon. Ooh, what will having that do for you, okay? So I want you to notice this. What's happening in the brain when we use the outcome frame is we start to load up visual, auditory, kinesthetic structures. Those visual, auditory, kinesthetic structures help us actually step into and test drive that future. Please use this verbatim. What would you like? What will have that do for you? Ooh, how will you know when you have it? We're getting into even more visual auditory kinesthetic structures. A person is actually stepping in and going, hmm, what's it going to be like in that future? They're checking it out. When you use the outcome frame, do it for 15 minutes. I know it sounds like a long time. 15 minutes, every human being will have loaded up enough visual auditory kinesthetic, maybe even olfactory and gustatory, the five senses, if we just get three of the five senses, their brain's gonna go, oh, this is actually possible, as opposed to, ooh, this is a fantasy. So we gotta do it for 15 minutes. How will you know when you have it? I'll show you an example in a sec. My favorite question, this is the ego question. What of value might you risk or lose? What side effects may occur? <laughs> the answer to question number four is why you don't have number one. You don't have number one because your ego can't get over the cost of number four. I'll show you an example in a sec. And then what are your next steps? 